today with a look at a very important time for cattle producers, and that is calving season. Producers are working around the clock to make sure those pregnant cows have success in bringing new calves into the world. As you can imagine, this can be hard work, but it's also very rewarding. We go to Todd Eggerling's farm in southern Lancaster County to learn more about the joys and challenges of calving season. Calving season typically runs from February to May, with most calves born in March and April. And we wanted to come out to a farm today and see how everything is going. And so I am at Todd Eggerling's farm near Martell, Nebraska. Hi, Todd. Hello. Thanks for having us out here today. Yep, welcome. So you are really right in the middle of it right now. You had your first calf, was it last week? Yep, last Monday we had our first, first baby and we've got 27 on the ground so far. Now your operation is really kind of unique because I know many farmers worry about calves being chilled when they're born. I remember my dad always uh, bringing a calf inside, maybe putting it in the bathtub to warm it up, using a hair dryer. We had calves in the porch. <laughs> you really don't have to do that out here. Well, I've been through all those same things. And now with our system that we've put together here, uh, we like to think just the, the cover of the, of the grass uh, being untouched all year helps give a little shelter to the babies and uh, we start calving a little bit later the end of March. We hopefully don't have these extended periods like we've had the last week where it's been a little more uh, cooler weather but they can really take a lot and, and we still watch them and if we have to do something like that we'd still intervene. And Todd, speaking of giving these calves a good start, really getting that colostrum is so important, isn't it? Right away. Yeah, you know, the, the mother cow, she's going to produce it for about 24 hours, but it's really critical. You know, the sooner the calf can get up and, and get a hold of that, the better. But it's you can get it four to six hours, you're, you're still going to be uh, hitting the, the right time and make that calf healthy. Todd, I know another challenge when it comes to calving is sometimes having to pull a calf. How's that been for you? For the last several years, we haven't had any issues. Uh, this year, I've had two backwards calves, one out of a first calf heifer and one out of a cow. And I actually had to get a puller and, and help assist both of them. Just depending on timing, when you notice the, the improper feet showing first and, and how soon you can get everything done is really the, the challenge to uh, being successful. Mm -hmm. Just kind of more of a natural setting you've got yeah, going. It's, it's, uh, you know, we don't do anything different. Uh, there are a lot of different production aspects. There's organic, all natural. We're, we're just producing uh, cattle and, and they end up uh, as part of our, our feed that we feed our families and, and part of our life cycle. And this is a, a, our way of, of doing it natural that is really no different than anybody else. Mm -hmm. Well, thanks for having me out here today. It's fun to see all the calves and looks like everything's going great for you. It's going good so far. <laughs> all right, thank you, Todd. Thank you.